Blackfriar Pass, a place stained in blood since time immemorial. Giant black cliffs tower overhead, rising in almost unnaturally straight lines, formed long ago when violent eruptions tore the Black Mountains in two. The pass is a gaping chasm of cavorted lava flanked by steep black cliffs of polished volcanic glass. The geographical importance of the pass cannot be overstated. Among other strategic reasons, it is the main route from which the orcs and goblins from the Badlands to the south can march north, go through the pass and pour into the Empire's lands. During the first battle of the Blackfire Pass, Sigma himself fought alongside his valiant men and the proud dwarfs. After a hard-fought battle, Sigma killed the Orc war boss and ended the massive Greenskin invasion. It marked the largest confrontation of man, dwarf and Greenskin during the first millennium and saw the formation of the Empire of Man as the mighty human empire it has since been known today. The Third Battle of Blackfire Pass in the year 2519 of the Imperial Calendar, Marius Liebdorf, known most infamously as the Mad Count of Averland, warned the Emperor Karl Franz that an enormous orc horde led by warlord Vorbad Ironjaw was advancing north and pouring into the Blackfriar Pass. He responded personally to this call and went to face the horde before it was too late culminating in what would become the Third Battle of the Blackfire Pass. The Imperial Army arrived just in time to block the onrushing hordes of Greenskin warriors. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to unite, for the Orcs gather. Beyond the pass, a war boss draws to him all that is foul, an Orc horde beyond imagining. As Sigma fought, so shall we. We will become part of the legend. We will wipe the orcs from our door. And only when this is done, when our nation has healed, shall I take up Gal Maraz for Sigma, for the Empire, for the Warhammer. The battle began with the Imperial artillery firing into the ranks of the orcs and goblins running downhill. gunners also opened fire to the approaching tide. The shots found their targets and opened big holes within the green skinned ranks. But that did not seem to stop them. They kept coming. Clouds of smoke and the strong smell of gunpowder began to fill the entire pass. The earth shook at the weight of thousands of orcs running forward. Before long, the lines clashed. The pure, primal fury of the orcs clashing into the disciplined ranks of the Empire echoed on the entire battlefield. The sound of steel, screams and the breaking of bones could be heard from any point within the Blackfire Pass. The battle was brutal. And with every passing moment it only grew in intensity. Cavalry versus cavalry. Man against the beast.
no quarter was given. After many hours of intense fighting, Warlord Vorbad Ironjaw engaged in a duel with the Emperor Karl Franz. Though the Emperor was a magnificent warrior, Karl Franz could not overcome such a massive opponent. The Emperor began to give ground and eventually fell to one knee. Karl Franz was overwhelmed with pain, but in his heart he wished to continue, for should he have fallen that day, the lands of the Empire would be ravaged by war. Deep down in his heart he prayed for deliverance, for the strength to overcome his foe just like Sigma had done all those centuries ago. His silent prayer was sincere and was not ignored. A blinding aura shimmered around the Emperor's body as the hammer glowed with golden light. All of a sudden his pain was gone. His muscles became filled with unearthly strength and the primal fighting spirit blossomed in his heart. As the Emperor rose to meet the huge orc once more, the Warlord stopped in his tracks as the Emperor's appearance changed into a gigantic barbarian dressed in fur. The man shouted a loud battle cry that boomed amongst the mountains as it had done so all those centuries ago. Unbarogens! At that sound, the instincts of the Warlord were overcome by memories inscribed in the soul of his race. Memories of mighty barbarians defeating the orcs in a war for the domination of the rich plains and driving them into desolation beyond the mountains. In those times, these men were led by the very same champion, Sigma himself. He who had denied the possession of these lands to the Greenskins for the first time in his life, Warlord Vorbad Ironjaw, felt the coldness of fear upon him. The Warlord stood dumbstruck, a split second of hesitation that would cost him everything. Karl Franz swung his giant warhammer at the orc's skull and, with a thunderous crack, smote the beast down. The Greenskin Horde panicked and fled at the battlefield at the sight of their Warlord's fall. From that day on, the name of Karl Franz has been pronounced in the Empire with even greater pride. Everybody always agreed that on that day, Sigma himself had fought alongside his descendant. Thank you for watching. On this channel, we're putting together fan-made cinematic episodes featuring historical and fantasy battles based on the settings from the Total War series and, of course, good old World of Warhammer. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification button to be the first to watch the next battle.